Hello guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So in terms of dropping new banger, a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. And to my ninja brothers and sisters out there, now God I take beguna. Make a like the video, share, subscribe. One of the share the video, the more of the share on the more people, all the Nigerians, all the Africans, they find out about the platform, the more that they help us discover underground boxers, African or Nigerian descent to promote and talk about because the main purpose is not to uplift Nigerian African boxing because I see, see our people don't get voice. And also as boxing not too popular for Nigeria that we want to change the narrative. Me, my brother Todd, Jack Bay, my daughter Tom, everyone part of the BBC planet and family, we are the change and we need to make that happen. Now let's get to it. Um, Yesterday, someone sent me this picture right here of Anthony Joshua, you know, and um, as you can see right here, Joshua has fought in different ways, you know what I mean? When he made his pro debut back in 2013 against Kizajek, he fought, you know, he weighed around 16 stone. You know, Joshua looked like a monster back then, though. Like, Joshua, like, he, I mean, I, like, Joshua has been a very, I mean, a very physical, um, physically endowed guy. But I think as he climbed up, you know, he began to, you know, pack on more, 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 more weight or something like that, because he started facing, you know, some top tier opponents and top fifteen guys and top ten guys and top five guys and the way. So in twenty seventeen, he weighed against Takam. He weighed around eighteen stone. In uh, twenty nineteen, against Andrews, you know, the first fight, the first fight in June. He weighed around 17 stone. Okay, it means he weighed he weighed less compared to when he fought Takam. But in Takam fight, he cannot fall better though. And then in, of course, in the same year, um, uh, around December 7th in Saudi Arabia, when he fought and you know, he, he went back to 16 stone. Okay, like. He weighed back in, in 2013. So, um, the guy asked me, okay, what, which weight is better for Joshua to come in whenever he fight? And I would like our brother Tajagwe to give his take on that for sure. Tajagwe, what's your opinion and what do you think about Joshua's weight? You know, should he weigh, you know, 17, 18 stone, 19, or should he stay at 16? You know, uh, Joshua's weight, um, ideally, it comes with uh, the way his body's grown, you know. Don't forget when he started the amateurs, he was, he started, you know, he started filling up, and, you know, the, the, the harder he worked, you know, the more his body needed to recover those uh, depleted uh, calories, you know, and the way Joshua works, he works he works very, very hard, you know. Next thing was genetics, he's going to gain the weight quick. Look at, I mean, his dad is a pretty big guy. So I wasn't surprised if he gains, he gains weight. I wouldn't be surprised if Joshua's natural weight is between 250, between 260 without cutting any weight. That's his natural weight problem. Um, I would love to see him stay at two. Between two, two forty to two forty-five in that range. You know, it looks like since uh, since he beat Andrew Ruiz, I think he stayed at that range, and he's been working hard. Between two forty to two fifty, to, to you know, it takes a while for your body to get used to two fifty, for you to master it, for you to learn how to move in that body, for you to move, move 
mask in. It takes a while. But I think he's been at it for such a long time. He's been he's been practicing. He's been he's just been a beast, man. You know, at his at two at two between two forty to two fifty. That I think he's finally gotten used to it. His body has gotten used to the weight, and now he's going to showcase what he's what he's known for. He's also putting powers behind his uh behind his uh his his, his hooks, his jabs, you know, getting those muscle twitch ready, those muscle fibers ready, you know. That's why you see those big wide hooks and those uppercuts, you know, those are muscle fiber twitches. You know, so I'm excited to see what he has coming up against Pulev. I'm excited to see what weight he comes in because you have to wonder Whatever way he comes in, how would he dominate? What kind of fashion? What, what does he have in his head? You know, it's all about chess, you know, and not checkers. While your opponent is playing checkers, or if he is, if, if he is uh, even playing checkers, you're playing chess. You're one moves ahead. You're already calculating your moves, you know. So with Anthony Joshua, I think his best ideal weight will be between 240 to... Uh, I'm sorry, two, two, yeah, 240 to almost 248. You know, that would be his ideal weight. Anything like that, anything sort in that, you know, I feel like he would just be, would be a little too strenuous on his body, difficult, you know. Yes, although 240, 230, you know, you're cutting weight, you're trying, you're going to be moving lighter. You know, it also comes... Your power goes away with that. Not a lot, but there's a big difference. But not much to say. I think his bet that his best weight is at two, two forty something, where he could do a lot of damage. You know, um, not much I can say about it. If because if you look at back into his uh, amateur days, you know, he actually moved more. You know, around around uh, when he was lighter, but as soon as he gained the weight, you know, he kind of slowed down. So I want to see if he's actually gotten used to two fifty to two forty. If he has, that makes him a lot a lot lighter. You know, so I'm excited to see what he does, man. You can never count Anthony Joshua. After. Let's see what happens. Yeah, brother. I think you said it all. And guys, like the video, share, subscribe. As usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. I got, I take back with them. You're gonna subscribe. You're gonna like it. You're gonna share. Cause the more they share, the more that like, the airports they grow, and the more we they give them bombastic content for you. Now, here be the home of Ninja Boxing. Now, here be the best channel away for you. Anything about boxing and some other stuff what they talk about sometimes once in a while because outside of being a boxing fan we are also Nigerians you mean meaning patriotic Nigerians and Pan-Africans because of course we care about you know the unity of our people worldwide and about loving one another one another and of course being a good Samaritan as well and no hate here man stay blessed cheers